Hi, I'm Dr. Jim Siebert. It's time for our tropical forecast here on YouTube. Not a lot has changed over the last 24 hours. We still have two storms that we're tracking, and that's it. In the five day outlook from the National Hurricane Center, we don't have anything on the horizon for at least the next five days. That's not a bad thing. So Sam is still a very powerful category four hurricane. Now it's moving to the north at about 20 miles per hour. So it's picking up a little more speed, very close to Bermuda. So it is having an influence on Bermuda. They're getting some showers. They're definitely getting some big surf and probably some storm surge. But that's going to be about it as this heads on to the north. And because it's moving at 20 miles an hour by later on this evening tonight, things should be improving as far as whatever conditions they have for Bermuda. Coming down here looking at Victor, winds at 65 miles per hour, but if you look at Victor, very different than Sam because we don't have a real good closed circulation. I mean, we do have circulation, but you don't see an eye wall forming or anything. Lots of uh, instability, lots of convection going on, just not quite as organized. So winds are at 65 miles per hour. Chances are, though, it's not going to get it together to actually become a hurricane. I've seen it happen, though. It's, it would surprise me completely, but at this point, the upper level winds also change a little bit more as we move out into the Atlantic. So, and this again is also going to be an, an, a sea bearing storm. It's not really going to be making landfall anywhere, which is pretty good news. I mean, how we're getting into October, we see that these storms tend to head to the north a little bit faster, but there's just nothing out there along the east coast down into the Caribbean. And as we look over into, into what's happening off of Africa, Notice we have some tropical waves. They're not nearly as big and, and as numerous. So we're seeing that slow down a little bit. And, and if we don't have anything starting from there, that's actually some pretty good news. Now coming into the Gulf of Mexico. Yeah, we have a lot of rain. This is not tropical in nature. It's, uh, it's really surface system. So we got an area of low pressure that's been to the north. There's a front that's stalled in Texas. It's eventually going to move through Texas by Sunday. And it'll push everything back out and things will get back to normal. Now normal for Southeast Texas this time of year is highs in the middle 80s, lows in the 60s, 60s in the morning. That sounds nice and plenty of sunshine. So next week is going to be very, very different than what's been going on for this week. And keep in mind now we are in October. That's good because we continue to see the tropical frequency drop off dramatically once we get into October and then goes away com almost completely by the end of November and December. So we're getting past the peak now and that drop off does, does happen pretty quick. So that's really good news. At this point, we got those two storms. We'll keep our eye on it. At this point, I still think we have a good chance to get into Wanda. Uh, we're not done as far as the hurricane season for the Atlantic. I think we're done in the Gulf of Mexico maybe even the Caribbean. It's a little dicier there, but out in the Atlantic, it would not surprise me. We're going to see some more tropical waves come off of Africa eventually. So chances are we will make it to that supplemental list before we get to the end. In fact, it's almost a guarantee that we're going to get to the supplemental list. There's no way we're not going to have other things out into the Atlantic, but at this point, nothing is pointed towards the United States of America, and that's always a good thing. We'll see you next time.